Schools continue to feel the impact of the Omicron surge. In Clark County, more than 200 students, teachers and bus drivers are out sick with COVID. It is forcing one school district to return to remote learning next week. NBC 15's Kim McGrath joins us live from Clark County High School. Ken, that school district has been hit pretty hard. Yeah, Kim, they have, and administrators tell me it was a really hard decision to make, but it was necessary to protect all of the staff and students. And as of yesterday afternoon when we left, I had some 224 students that were out, uh, 22 uh, of my staff that were out. Uh, we have seven school nurses, and three of those were out. Five bus drivers were out. So you can see the trend was starting to move upward, so we knew we had to do something. Clark County School Superintendent Larry Bagley says he understands the many challenges that remote learning brings and the impact it has on the community. Well, it's difficult on parents. We understand that, but they're just going to have to work with us through this. The superintendent tells me that his number one goal is to keep students engaged in their work and has a plan for students that don't have the internet or have trouble with spotty service. We do the best we can. We have our teachers communicating with parents every day while they're out to make sure they, they get the work done and, and do everything we can to help our students. I also talked with Bagley about the possibility of extending the virtual learning past next week. Well, that's a good question. We, we're coming back Tuesday week. Uh, it'll be January the 18th as of right now. My number one concern is we come back to school and then two or three weeks later have to do it again. If we do, we just have to do it. Uh, because so many people are getting sick. Most athletic events have also been canceled. Bagley says he wants everyone to be safe and to be smart. He says the community is strong and says this is a time for everyone to be there for one another. The superintendent also says all next week schools will be cleaned and sanitized as they work to get everyone back into the classrooms. Now coming up at six, I'll have reaction from a parent that I spoke with to get her thoughts on this second round of virtual learning. Reporting live in Clark County, I'm Ken McGrath, NBC 15 News.